Cancer. My beautiful, beautiful Cancers, this is your reading for this week. I am a little bit sick, so just bear with me. That's why everything is... What is it, baby? I'm trying to do a video. So, let's pray. <laughs> Spirit, Guardian Angel, Divine Energy, Universal Energy. <laughs> Benny. Please let me know what you have for Cancer for January 28th through February 3rd. Who would you like for them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of at this time? Only allowing truth, honesty, love, and acceptance within this space. <laughs> As above, so below. He is really starting to scream. I wonder, can you hear him? Okay, Cancer. He wants to jump in my lap while I'm at the table. That's not going to happen. So... No, Benny. Mmm, putting those walls down. By putting your walls down and walking away from past, mm, you gotta walk away from the past, Cancer. You gotta let that crap go old stuff the old things that you were doing old people if you want to move into something new okay and I feel like whatever this is not only is it going to grow you in a relationship but it's going to grow you as a person but you got to let it go you know what I'm saying you got to move on sorry let me switch this video edit um you have to move on if you want it to grow so Numerology real quick. Um, mm, four. Oh, that is so perfect. Four is all about building foundations. That's all it's about. You know, taking a leap of faith is going to give you some stability. But you have to, you know, you have to continue to finish the work. So it's almost like you started doing something, okay? You started dealing with someone. You started reaping the benefits of whatever it is. And you get into a point where there's something that you have to let go of. And you're not sure that you want to do that. This is the real test of time for you, Cancer, okay? Is that if you want to let this go, if you want to fully make that commitment, okay? love these cards I just realized that just now like it just hit me I love these cards they connect with me so strong you know let me just tell you a story guys if you want to be tarot readers okay they tell you that you'll connect with a deck and it's so true um, sometimes you just do this is the most random deck ever it is the um, game of thrones deck and when i tell you that this deck connects with me like i can look at it and just see a whole story right now i don't know why it's not the one that i would choose for myself <laughs> you know but it really really does even though i love the game of thrones let's be serious but i wouldn't like i wouldn't pick this one i have so many other ones like i don't know if you know tarot cards but the austera Austera deck that's the one I want to connect to every time I look at it every time I'm around it that's the one that I want to connect to but this one this one is the one that connects with me this is the one I'm probably going to stick with for a while you know this is my writer weight but anyway okay just talking too much probably the cough syrup um, <laughs> So we have the three of coins on the bottom of the deck, okay? So with the three of coins, it talks about you working with someone, okay? Um, you're trying to work in a situation to make something happen, right? Getting what you want. 
You're working with a person to get what you want. You're planting seeds. Remember I said that about you? So I feel like that's what you're doing. And this week, you're going to figure out how to work with that person. So you can plant the seeds to try to get what you want. But there comes a time where you have to, you have to work together and you have to learn how to communicate um, in a way that you both can hear each other. And not just one person can hear, you know, what what the you know you're not just going to hear what that person wants you to hear blah 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 okay so nine of cups you want to be happy okay you're going towards the thing that you think is going to make you happy especially with it by the seven of spears okay this could be someone that you had a breakup with or were distant with okay i can see right now that the communication isn't good which is why this week that's what you're working on not even communication, but what you're trying to bring out into the universe, you know. Um, you feel like there is a, there is an opportunity for maturity in this relationship, which is why you're even doing it, okay. But the Queen of Cups is mm, your emotions. So you feel something for this person and you want to bring it out and you're trying to show them the best way that you know how. You have the Seven of Spears here. And you have to stand up for what is right. You have to keep going. Even when you feel like the, the, there's trouble focusing and they're not seeing, you have to keep going. Okay? Because I feel like this person is watching and waiting to see what it is that you're doing. Or either you're doing this with them. Okay? But there's lots of worry here because you're not sure if you can trust this situation. You know, it's like you don't want to be so focused on what your general direction is that you're missing out on something and not paying attention. OK, so just stand up for what you believe in, what you feel is right, where your passions are, and you should be fine as far as up here. OK, um, the thing is, the thing is, somebody has their passion's not going in the right way okay they're so focused on something that is not helping them um in the real world and it has to end which is why the world card is here and if when you open yourself up to see your life like if you step out of your life and look at it through another person's eyes or probably what this new person is trying to help you with you'll see that there is a problem but right now I feel like you don't want to hear that there is a problem or that something needs to change right there's something in the past that you need to let go of there's something in the past that definitely needs to end okay but for some reason you don't want to let it go so think about this cancer there's something in your life that you're holding on to so tightly even though people say you should let it go and you don't want to hear it it makes you angry every time you hear about it it's probably something you need to evaluate in your life okay because nothing there's nothing that is absolutely healthy in your life that you, someone cannot have a, a basic discussion with you about and you're going to be that upset about it unless it's something that you really don't want to change or you know is unhealthy you just don't want it to be brought up to you okay if that makes any sense okay it, it kind of reminds me of like teenagers this is not you but if it, it's like this when you know that a teenage like when you were a teenager and someone's in a relationship with someone that wasn't really good for them or they were cheating and they're like they would never cheat on me that's crazy you just jealous blah 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 yet instead of just listening it's like that okay anyhow okay so three of swords talks about separating okay and I feel like you're not getting the outcome that you want right uh, because you're not willing to separate from something or you're not willing to let something go why is that you have the opportunity to manifest something new into your life right you see it it's right there you can hold on to it you just kind of have to nurture it to keep it going but for some reason you're not perceiving that right now or it's them that's not perceiving that okay it may have to do with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius that you just can't seem to let go um, but it's blocking you from starting something new, okay? Definitely. Because you're holding on too tight to whatever it is. 
seven of swords you have to realize that you're just getting by you know i feel like things are not clear and you're holding on to the little joy that this past is bringing you but it's going to bring you down you can't control it this is the other thing too someone is thinking that they can control a situation you can't control it it almost reminds me of someone being a drug addict you know like oh oh i only do drugs on the weekends you can't do that you know <laughs> like it's going to take over your life that is the story that is the first story of every drug addict almost okay i only do it on the weekends and then you're doing it forever you know <laughs> every single day you catch yourself so that's what it feels like to me so there's some part that needs to be let go okay um i feel like you don't want to apologize you don't want to renege on something um but that's just old thoughts and old ways and you can let that go you are the initiator of your own life so the fact that you're saying that you can't do that is really you right so you're not that's you not giving in to fighting for or doing what is right because there's something that you want up here that's greater than whatever this was in the past i do feel like it's going to be an internal fight with you maybe with this person too as well um it's going to be really hard to give to this okay you're not going to get very positive feedback from it it's almost like you feel like some of your um for your self-confidence is going to be gone um you can't think that way okay because whatever this is is putting you in a different direction of where it is that you actually want to go think about this you actually put energy into growing that you did that right so why are you now not going to work with it because you've actually hit a hard spot you know so there is some communication coming in here at the at the end there's something that you're eager to start and that you want to start with someone and you're being driven to go this way or be with this person um someone may come to see you or you may come to see someone else okay that's what i see putting in that effort i feel like they're going to show you something or communicate something with you and you're going to realize that this is the kind of stability that you need you know this is what you're actually trying to bring into the world for yourself and that's what i see that you're you're going to listen to that you're going to try to grow with it you have to make that and yeah that's it so then it's like you make this judgment you know i have to make this call about what's important for me and what i want what is balanced for me that's why the lovers come out who is better for me right so it's like even through all this chaos of what's going on and what's going on in your mind you're gonna see which one is more reliable and which one is more solid for you where it is that you need to be and what you need to let go and what you need to keep around you're definitely going to see that okay the nine of spears talks about being hurt going through the ups and the downs you may not want to apologize and you may not want to say that you were wrong okay but you have to get over this one last hump to start your new cycle you have to be strong and keep going you're going to be building a new kind of self-esteem for sure okay but you got to leave this old false self-esteem in the past so you can be in something that is more committed. But you have it's like you have to clear out the old stuff so you can be strong enough to keep this with you. To to even go down this new route. You know, you got to clear out that space. That addiction to that that person, that old life, you got to let that go. So you can start a new one honesty i can't always expect the truth from others but i can expect it from myself and that is the honest truth you may not want to trust this new person you may not want to trust the old person but what you can trust is yourself so as soon as you clear out all these old toxicities i don't know if someone's on drugs or been drinking a lot smoking a lot of weed or whatever it is that you're doing as soon as you clear all that out and get your mind together you're going to see where it is that you need to be okay you may want to 
listen to some elders or some people that have some good advice for you, I remember saying something about not wanting to listen, okay? You may want to listen to that person. Pay attention to the red flags. Bam. <laughs> That's all I've been talking about. Forgiving and learning, okay? You're learning where to put your time and energy into what it is that you're trying to get out, okay? Where you're trying, what it is that you're trying to get out of life. Let go of control issues, right? You can't fully control your whole life. You aren't even in control of your whole life, you know? <laughs> There's so many things that we do not understand. There's so many things that are out of our hands that you cannot control, okay? As soon, I don't know if you know this, guys, but as soon as you try to hold on to something or make your own path or say, this is where I'm going to be forever, that's when shit starts to hit the fan. Okay, because spirit in the universe has their their own way for you and what they believe that you need in your own life. Okay, God, guardian angels, whatever it is that you believe in, spirit. And all we can do is follow and work the path and be honest with ourselves. Okay. So thank you so much for listening, and I will see you next week for more self-discovery. Love and light to you. Bye-bye.